let us all <clears throat> remind us such as this of the cost of political failure will strengthen our resolve for peace in the future. To finish on a perhaps less serious note, we should all be grateful for the legacy. We in Bursko should all be legacy. We're grateful for the legacy that Ringtail left us, an industrial estate that created jobs and prosperity for the area. Uh, that wasn't what Ringtail was about. You've been made very clear what Ringtail did, but the Ringtail legend that goes on. And I am offering a special prize for anyone, local or not, who can remember where the Z-men were, what the Z-men were, what the relationship to Ringwell tale was and where they were posted. Thank you all. So now, ladies and gentlemen, I ask uh, Reverend Alan the Reverend to come and carry on with the service. Thank you, Ted. The word privilege is often overused and misused these days, but I'm sure you'll agree with me that it is a real privilege for us to be here on this new memorial site. What a magnificent memorial it is. And we share too in this rededication service. So let us pray. We are gathered here in the presence of God to give thanks for the services rendered to the country by all who served on this air station during the Second World War and those who gave their lives in the cause of freedom. We pray for all those who continue to suffer through war and are in need. We give thanks for the many achievements of the past and we dedicate ourselves to the opportunities that lie ahead. We ask for God's help and blessing that we may acknowledge him as Lord and King. Amen.
I too am very grateful to be invited to be here. Uh, although I've only very recently come to Bursko, uh, it is a wonderful place, um, vibrant and changing, but with a rich history too. And all of us are free because of that history. We come then to rededicate this memorial. Almighty Father, Lord of heaven and earth, we offer and dedicate this memorial to the glory of God and in memory of those who served at this air station. Especially do we remember those who gave their lives during the Second World War. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. O oh God, who dwells above the water and has the power to still the raging of the sea, accept the prayers of all your servants who commit their lives to the dangers of the sea and the earth. In all their ways, enable them to serve you in a godly and faithful way, and in their Christian lives, reflect your glory throughout the world. Through all their journeys, watch over them, that they may overcome evil, temptation, or anything which harms their souls, so that through all the changes and chances of this life, 
you will bring them by your mercy to the sure promise of your everlasting kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord Amen We bring our service to a close by asking God's blessing upon us. Each one of us will go our separate ways throughout the country into various communities to love and to serve the Lord and to love and serve the people that we serve. So we do ask God's blessing upon us. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look kindly on you and give you peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you now and always. Amen. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our service. Once again, many, many thanks for attending in such huge numbers this morning. I'm sure we all feel the same about this service and it's what we are remembering. Thank you very much. Don't forget, 11th of November again. <laughs>
We don't worry about We and so Thank you. 